I'm Nikki. Uh, if this is your first time here, or even if you're here every week, I, hear I am so glad you're here. Uh, uh, family stuff is where kids bring their families to learn about life apps. Life apps are things that God does inside of us to help us change the world around us. Uh, they're kind of a big deal. You know, why else would we go through the trouble of talking about them, right? Uh, that was Michelle, and she is my co-host who uh, <clears throat> helps me. Uh, help is kind of up for debate, but at least she's here. to do with my test? Well, two things, actually. First of all, you are a very smart gal. I am? You are. Oh, and gosh. you've spent all this time studying... Hey, Jack and Matt, stop, please. Matt, why don't you go sit over here? Nope. Come on. Move. Thank you. Uh, you've spent all this time studying and working as hard as you can, right? Yeah, I really have. Okay. So I think you could put trust in the work that you put in. And second, trust that God has your back. So do you think God will take my test for me? <laughs> no, but he's going to be with you. So if you start to freak out in the middle of your test, take a deep breath. And remember that God is there with you. Yeah, okay. That sounds doable. Great. Yeah. Uh, is there a Michelle Price? That, that's me. Hi. So I'm here to take your blood test. Oh, a blood test? Oh, yeah. Last night I studied all about blood. Yes. Yeah, so what's your question? The answer is A plus or B minus or O minus or O plus. Uh, wait a minute. A blood test? Yeah. Michelle, good news is you do not have to take a test today. I don't? No, they, he just wants to draw some blood. Oh, like with magic marker? <laughs> no, uh, like with this needle. Oh. Huh. Oh. Thank you guys. 
I totally, oh, we were oh, supposed yeah. to meet at my house. I totally forgot. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I am so grateful that you guys volunteered to be my models for the Save the Planet fashion show oh, and helping me, oh my goodness, and helping the earth at the same time. Um, anyways, we are so running out of time, so, um, ah. you know, that's the hair, the hair. You know, since you said that I could be one of your male models for the runway show, I had it done. Do you like it? Um, it, it looks the same, Gordo. That's me. Per perfect. Yeah. I'm wearing a helmet. Oh boy. Let's just hope that the uh, the designers aren't looking at your heads and they're checking out the outfits that I've created. Oh, speaking of runway. Oh, we practiced the walk just like you taught us. Check it.
You can get through this. He's given you the gifts to figure this out. Cammie? Ah, and we're going to move on with our day. So, do you think you're ready to play our game? Sure. Do you think you have what it takes to get these questions right? Yes. Okay. Do you guys think he has what it takes? Yes. Let's give him a round of applause for helping. Let's get him excited. Okay. Ready? Okay, here's our first question. If you were taking a real test in school that had a real grade on it, which blood type would you prefer? A, B minus, B, O, or C, A plus. Take your time if you need time. Oh. Answer is C. He got it right, you guys. Yay! All right. All right. One more question. I know, but these are tough. Second question. Okay. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Which three blood types 
spelled the nickname for Robert? Is it A, A plus, O, and B minus, B, B minus, A, B plus, and O, or C, B minus, O, and B plus? C. B O B spells Bob. Yay! Amazing. So I think that you did it. And these are quite possibly some of the worst questions we've ever had here on the answer is C. So you win two band-aids and a baggie of cotton balls for the next time you get your blood drawn. Yay! Glad you can help us out today. Give them a hand, guys. All right, you guys have fun. We're moving on to the word. Hi, Dad. He is a man who needs no introduction. However, he insists upon it. Some say that he's done for the private detective business what the Titanic did for the cruise industry. He's Sam Shuttle, private detective. So this guy I met in prison told Pharaoh I could do that, and I was brought before him to tell him what his dreams meant. Interpreting dreams, eh? Sounds like a bunch of racket to me. A racket? A shakedown, a flip, a, it's a ripoff, a con, a hoax. No, not again. A snow job, a flip flip, a shakedown. But 
It's not. It's a hustle, a sting, a sham, a fast one. It's not like that. It's a gift I have. It's a gift God has given me. Oh, come on. I bet I, even I could interpret these dreams. Try me. Um, okay. In his first dream, seven healthy fat cows came up out of the river and were eating some of the tall grass growing along the banks. Then seven ugly, skinny-looking cows came up out of the river and ate the seven cows that looked healthy and fat. <laughs> That's easy. I know exactly what that means. Oh, really? More chicken. Um, no, that's not what the dream meant. <laughs> Look, <laughs> sure it is. Give me a second one, something hard. What was this? Come on, what was the other dream? Sure, why not? Well, in <laughs> the second dream, seven healthy, good heads of grain were growing on one stem. After them, Seven other thin, dried up heads of grain came up. The thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven healthy full heads. Got it! That means that Burrow. Barrow. Before going to bed, ate seven pieces of gas station sushi. <laughs> you know what? I should be put in charge of all of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, man. Be my guest. Excuse me a second. Uh, this. Get a feeling this girl is on this earth to remind everyone that nobody is perfect. I mean, she's so full of confidence that when she needs advice, she talks to herself. <laughs> this is kind of fun. A anyway, I know she means well, but I better go straighten her out. Yeah. So, what did you get from this dream interpreting stuff? Well, first of all, just like I told Pharaoh, it's not me, it's God. God would give Pharaoh the answer and show him what he should do. You see, both of Pharaoh's dreams had the same meaning. God was telling Pharaoh that there would be seven years with plenty of food, and then seven bad years where food would be scarce. So I told Pharaoh that he should look for a wise and understanding man, and he should put that man in charge. It sounds like... Did you put the guy... He wants to find someone to put in charge? Yes, uh, in charge of the land of Egypt, to get them through this time. <laughs> Sounds like I'm his man, girl. Sounds like I'm his girl. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, actually, Pharaoh, trust me. And, well, with God showing me the way, my plan for Egypt has been very successful. Well, good for you, Joseph. If you ever need any help with that dream interpreting stuff, you know where to find me. Sam. Sam Shovel. Private detective. I already have. Good man. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome our next designer, a cameo. Thank you everyone for coming today to the Save the Planet fashion show. I have something very exciting to show you, but like, full disclosure, 24 hours ago, like I was totally not excited to show you this. 
but everything I wanted to have happen didn't. And a good friend of mine reminded me of who I was, whose I was, and who was with me. And I chose to trust. And lo and behold, I had a new idea. So in honor of Save the Planet Fashion Show, I am so proud to present to you my new lineup that I call Junk Mail. Our first look is presented by my good friend, Finn. Ooh. Finn is wearing an entire suit made and tie made entirely out of coupons. That's right, his suit is made, may have saved him some dough, but right now he's looking like a million bucks. Uh, and last but not least, we have my good friend Gordo. Gordo is wearing a poncho made of postcards and heavy postcards. His hat as well is made out of postcards and junk mail. This look is designed for the person who needs protection from the elements. But don't get stuck out in the rain too long or you'll turn into a big pile of wet mush. In an effort to save the planet, I've taken the junk mail we so desperately throw away quickly and we recycled it into high fashion. I hope that you've enjoyed my show today. Here's one last look at my creation.